Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of WTF. Woohoo! <laughs> Yeah, welcome back to season seven, episode eight. And if you haven't watched last week's episode, you should check it out because things just got juicy. And not because we were eating burgers, <laughs> but because it's a tie. Alex a has tie. somehow managed to crawl his way back from the bottom. I always manage to worm my way you up You do again. manage to worm yeah. your way up, yeah. don't you? <laughs> worm. <laughs> things are really hotting up. It's getting hot in here. I need to get the fire hydrant. <laughs> I need to call the firefighters <laughs> to burn you out. <laughs> What's it called? I know what you're on about. Because you're getting... It's really heating up. Yeah, really heating up. And I need up. to calm you down. Yeah, calm me down. So yeah. I need to order, order yeah. the fireman. <sighs> Shall we see? What the fudge? Is in the box today. Oh, oh! I was so confused what that was the for a moment. The tin opener challenge. <laughs> yeah. Who can open as many tins in? Oh, and the oh, blindfolds, blindfolds are back. back. Hello, Kate and Alex, and welcome back to the eighth episode of this WTF season. Things are really finely poised this season, as the scores are now for all, and it couldn't be tighter. Love how Matt doesn't want to give you any thanks. He does it so well done for you, but I'll do it because I'm a I'm a good team player. Well done, Alex, for it's uh, implied. He didn't winning. need to say it. Yeah. He didn't need to say it. Well done for winning last yeah. week. Today we have cracked the blindfolds back out, as you will take part in the WTF tin can challenge. The rules of this week's challenge are as follows. In front of you, there are 10 random tins numbered one to 10. You will take it in turns to be blindfolded and pick a number between one and 10. Your opponent will then open the selected tin oh, and feed no. you a spoonful of the contents. There are two points up for grabs for each tin you try. One for swallowing the whole contents of the spoon and one for correctly guessing what oh, was on the no. spoon. There are 10 points up for grabs in total and the player with the most points at the end of this week's episode will take home the huge WTF point. Good luck, guys. The, the WTF, WTF team. team. Oh, do you know what? Bringing in the blindfolds mm. really changes things like this. Yeah. I have such a... I was scared about those sausages yeah. in the burger. The scaredy cat. No sausages like in, in the burger. Oh, yeah, you're freaking out. I thought it was out. like a... Yeah. Oh, I like this because we've kind of done a challenge like this before, but not like we're cracking it open right in yeah. front of us. I like that. I think that's, that's quite good. Yeah. Right. Shall we bring them in? Yeah. Bring in the tins. Bring in the tins. So we have our selection of tin cans. And wow, I didn't realise tin cans came in so many yeah, shapes and sizes. Yeah, varied so much. Right. Shall we do rock, paper, scissors to see who yes. goes first? Let's. All your rings <laughs> you're like <laughs> <laughs> i would like you to go first you'd like me to go so first. that means you're gonna get blindfolded up and you're gonna pick a number from one to ten okay i think i am going to choose number four <gasps> you've gone for the short squat one short short and round short and round how <laughs> oh, i like them <laughs> <laughs> oh no i should probably otherwise juices might start coming yeah, through good idea so bye bye Quite pungent. Yeah. I think that's better than what I first thought that was. <laughs> really? Yeah. And just to check, Matt, it's all human food and it's all edible. What? You want human food? Yes. It's creepy. This is what Kate's getting a delightful spoonful also, of. Also, spoonful, are we just kind of doing like a bit of a flat one? Unless yeah. it's chunky. Yeah. Nothing crazy. No. Unless it's like in one piece and then it just has to be that. Oh, okay. okay. You ready? Yeah. Three. Two, one, you're gonna have to open wide for this. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> That's number four. Oh! I did read what I was in. Uh, yeah. That Take is that a new well. potato. Yes. Well done. And that is the most rubbish new potato <laughs> I've ever tasted. <laughs> Don't get tin. I wonder though if when you get them like this, you're meant to flavour them yourself. Probably. Because they're. What is they're... it in? Brine is it? In water. It's potato and water. Let me try that. It's awful. Oh my word, yeah. You're just like mushy. How long has it? it been sitting and in flavorless. there? Flavourless. I don't know. Years. See how you picked me the biggest one. I just picked the one that was on top. <laughs> that was a lot smaller than that. <laughs> I was like, what is going in my mouth? You can have that one then. Yeah, so what do you think? Will you be getting those again? Never. Okay. So that's two points to you. You ate it and you guessed it. So well done. Right, now it's my Awful. turn. Awful. 
Um, I would like to go for the small one here. I was always picking that. Oh good, go for number three. And I'm gonna make you do some work because you have to open it. Do you know what? I am surprised actually, because I've I've looked in like what you can get in a tin. Yeah. Did you know oh, you, you can, can get, get like everything. full meals yeah. in tins? I've seen that before in Sainsbury's where you can literally get like a roast dinner in a tent. Is it because they're cheap or is it because they last a long time? Like if you were worried about an apocalypse or something, they would be really yeah, good to like it's... keep in a cellar like those people on Netflix or on the Discovery Channel. Ready to open yeah. up, pal? Three, two, one. Again, it seems to be a theme, very watery. Yeah. I wonder if this is Like you're water. actually going to use that in a it meal. It is in water, out. You drain it out and then you flavour it. Because they're already cooked, aren't they? Well, what is it? It's mushroom. Ah, you didn't know. It's my favourite thing. Um, How do they taste? Pretty like watery and flavourless. I didn't know you could get mushrooms in a tin. I think you can get Two everything in a tin. Two points to you. Even I'm... though mushrooms are one of your favourite things, how did you actually enjoy eating that or not? It wasn't my favourite experience. I'm glad I didn't go for that because I feel like the sliminess I would yeah. have hated, whereas at least with the new potato, it didn't. It was rubbish, but at least... It was funny because I was like, you were like, okay, ready? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, actually, I'm quite nervous. And then you put something in my I mouth know. that was really slimy. I, didn't, I tried not to think about it too much mm. the first round. Yeah. At first, they almost tasted of nothing. I was a bit worried, like, I was oh, thinking, am I yeah. actually going to be able to work this out? But then... At first, I was afraid. I was bad. Wait, what do you want to go for now? Oh, I'm worried. I'm nervous. I'm going for number seven. Okay. Which one I on? Lucky number seven, is it? I've got the water down me. Maybe we should have worn a bit. I don't think this will give it away, but we both know what this is. Okay. But I'm not sure if you'll know the flavour of it, um, you know, on its own. Okay. Do I like it? Um, I'm not sure, actually. Oh, dear. Small spoon, please. Yeah, here you go. Yeah. Oh. Mm. <laughs> mm. If I'm being honest, there isn't much flavour. There's no flavour. Wow. Why are all these things in water? I know. I guess that's the best way to store them. Is it olive? No, but it does have that kind of flavour, doesn't it? Not artichoke, is it? No, but I can see why you think that. Do you want another piece? No, thank you. Am I close at all? Um. No. You're close in terms of, yes, it does have a texture like artichoke and it does have a kind of thingy like olive, but you're not close. I'm really stumped. I'm just going to say, I think it's a vegetable. I have no clue. I can't even think of anything you else to say. You want to take your yeah. blindfold off? Oh, is it a pepper? No. Any guesses? Is it jackfruit? It's jackfruit. No way! Do you know what? I'm so glad I tried that now mm. because I've seen that in the shop and I always wondered what it would be like because obviously you need to cook it with something yeah. really. That's jackfruit. Yeah, because it does have that artichoke kind of texture where it's like stringy. It's really stringy. Because people use that in like vegan burgers, don't they? Like this a is... vegan pulled pork burger. Yeah, oh my word. And it kind of looks like tuna looks like fish. Tuna, yeah. Not what I was expecting at all. That just shows every time we have jackfruit, yeah. it's been really flavoured. Yeah, well, they make it like pulled pork, don't mm. they? So like barbecue. And you'd marinate it. Yeah. In Sainsbury's, you can get marination for yeah. that. And they've got banana blossom marinade. as well. Marinade. Not marination. <laughs> oh, that was hard, but I was quite close, so, I think. Yeah. Well, you had the texture and you did have the flavour. It's just you didn't I know didn't what the, they yeah. were together. Yeah. I totally forgot you'd even get it in a yeah. tinter. Okay, uh, what is your right. number today? I'm going to go for number... I'm going to go for number eight. Okay, blindfold, blindfold down, time. please. Marination. You sounded like Levi Roots. Marination for the nation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign at all. <laughs> okay, open yeah. up. Peas? No. No? No. Oh, um, lentils? Yes. Oh. Any guesses what's it in? Water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's everything just lentils in water. Lentils in water. Smell mm. it though, they stink. Is that why you choke? I was like, because <clears throat> it smelled like fish. Yeah. Because when you first put them in my mouth, I was like, oh, that's disgusting. Yeah. And as I chewed them, I was like, actually... Because you eat lentils, not you know what like, lentils are. Like peas. Whoa! Mm. Well done, Al. Cheers. Okay. All right, your pick. I'm going number 10. Number 10. And we've got... 
no. I can't get over how little flavour the jackfruit had. I think that's partly why they use jackfruit. Yeah, it's got the texture. But I think partly because, because it's, it's got, got no, no flavour, it means you can marinate it and it has whatever flavour you want to give it. Marination it. Yeah, marination it. A bit like the coronation. Ooh, okay. You could do like a coronation chicken. Fish I have well. stabbed myself. They're an injury. Two very little ones, yeah. These are so dangerous, these tins. They are. Yeah, I think I can give you a spoonful before I faint. Do we need a medic? I faint. Really? <laughs> right. So Here you dramatic. Go. Three, two, one. Ooh. Are those peas? You what? Are those peas? No. Chickpeas. Chickpeas. Oh! <laughs> They're dry and like mushy, are aren't they? they water. I'd imagine so, yeah. Oh! Pretty rough, isn't it? But it's ongoing. <laughs> Going for the full complement of points. I like chickpeas, but I don't think I'd like eating them in that form. I like them so cooked, so at least they're a bit and crunchy. Horrible. Yeah. That's why at first I thought, was it a normal pea? Because it was quite like round, but I knew mm. it didn't taste like a pea. Okay. Cool. What's your um, poison of choice? My poison of choice is going to be this, number six. Number six. Number six, coming up. Okay. Okay. Was this a pull top? Yeah. Make life easy for you, didn't it? Open oh, wide. Wider. Is it nice? Mm, it's spicy. Is it? A little it's bit. Spicy. It does smell quite spicy. You'll be pleased to know this is not in water. <laughs> no, it's not, is it? Is that like a a vegetable masala or something like that? Close. Do I need to get You like... don't need to get the full name, but I think you could do with pointing out something else. It's like a curry, vegetable curry. What's in there? Potatoes. Potatoes. Green beans. Potatoes are in there. I think we give that to Al. Curried potatoes. We have got Bombay potatoes. Ah, Bombay potatoes. So it is a side dish, yeah. but I think I think I'll give that to you because yeah. you probably wouldn't think about that. Yeah. Okay. Okay then, boys. <sighs> I really need this, and I need you to not get the next yeah. one. I am going middle for diddle. Five. Five. Down I go. <laughs> it should be quite, you know, a good one for you. Really. I think so. Hopefully. Oh, wow. Oh, interesting. It's not really in the form I was expecting. Right. But I think it still shouldn't make too much of a difference. Open okay. up. Okay. Ooh. You don't like that? No. Do you know what it is though? I have no clue what that is. Oh, really? I thought you would. Can I have a little bit more? Mm hmm. I'm tasting like cherry. Ready? Open up. Bit more. Hold on. Is it trifle? Bit more. One last one. Let's get the rest of that off the spoon. <gasps> You've got the point. What? It's cherry. It's cherry? It's cherry. What? Yeah, cherry, look. Oh my word! That's what I mean. It isn't how I thought it was going to be. When I read cherry, I thought it was going to literally be cherries like in water. You know when you get the little the jars? The glass say cherries? Yeah. It's cherries? But in like a kind of cherry juice. That's why I, th isn't I that thought you nice? were going to say I got it right. It's trifle. No. Oh my word. That's quite nice though. I That's... didn't. When I said cherries, I was saying it tastes like cherries. Yeah. But I wasn't thinking it was cherries. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Oh my cherry. word. But isn't that almost like the what, topping what of like a in? cheesecake? It just says red cherries Princes. for baking or decoration. Oh, so you would, you would put that in a pie probably yeah or Red cherry. wouldn't that be good fillings on, and toppings wouldn't like, that be good on top of a cheesecake if you yes. like cherry yes oh if you made like a vanilla cheesecake yeah. but then topped it because it's oh, not too it's not like, too sweet powerfully sweet but sickly then you cherry, probably could if you wanted it sweeter like, like mix it with yeah. stuff oh my word i didn't really know nice, that was it? a thing no neither did i that was really awesome really nice I'm not the biggest cherry fan. Mm. I thought the sauce was nice, but because of the thickness, yeah. I thought that was custard. Did you? I really thought that was custard. That's how, like, kind of like yeah. texture, doesn't it? That was so interesting. Mm. Come on, pick a bad one. Pick a bad one. <sighs> pick a bad one. This one. Number nine. Number nine. Engine, engine, number nine. On if my the New York transit, transit line. line. If, if my train goes off the line. Pick, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Let's go. Ooh, working the disc. 
I'm glad I didn't get it. Oh no, don't say that. Open up wide, Tommy! Right, lean in, open up wide. Ooh, bigger than that, bigger than that. <laughs> and no, it's not a new potato. <laughs> Oh, there's a pit in there. Oh, be careful. I was going to say there might be something, that but I didn't want like to give it away. Is that a plum? No. No? Two more guesses. Is it a fig? No. Figs don't have stones. No, that's what I'm saying. But it, it tastes, <laughs> it's the bee! It tastes like a sweet fig. One more And it's more not a guess. plum. No. Is it a peach? No. You are going to kick yourself! Really? What is like a... Plum and a fig. It's a prune. Oh, prune. And oh. Also, I knew that flavour as well. Yeah, I knew I you knew that because you prune. know prunes. Also, really, you should have gone back to my words, which was, I'm glad it wasn't me. I like peaches. I wasn't thinking like about that. No, yeah, no, I, I, yeah. I, I'm glad that oh, didn't. that's annoying. I really thought you were going to get that. Out prune. of some of the other ones, I really thought I you were going to get that. I just didn't think of prune at all. Because you eat prunes yeah, as well, don't you? And that is literally what a prune tastes like. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, just like much wetter. Because when I said peach, I knew it wasn't peach because it wasn't that kind of sweetness. It was more of like a molassesy caramel. It's more. But, is it more sticky? Yeah. Was it a good one though? It was good though. Yeah. It was um, Del Monte. Oh yeah. Man from Del Monte. That's annoying. I am kicking myself, but I haven't had a prune for a while. Because now it's a draw. Oh, it's a do draw. you have a tiebreaker, Matt? He does. Oh, here we go. Which one do you want? Oh then, no. Is he the one or two? <laughs> I'm going. Two. This one, okay. So this one's for me. Put your thing down then. The question is, have I picked correctly? I'm not sure if you like this. I know, are you winding me up or are you, are you playing the game? No, I honestly don't think you like this. Oh, for goodness sake. I, I knew I should have gone for one. I, I think you'll know what it is, but I'm pretty sure you don't like this. Oh no. I think you'll get it quite quickly. Really? Yeah, ready? Oh. Three, two, one. Oh, rice pudding. Yeah. I like rice pudding. Oh, you do? Mm. I didn't think you did. It depends where from, though. What brand is that? Ambrosia. Yeah, it's Ambrosia. Mm. I've never seen that creature on Ambrosia before. Can I open yeah. now? Maybe it's just the rice pudding. Let's see. He's so cute. Oh, is he? No more. Oh, he's cute. Mm. I picked well. That'd go really well with the cherries. Oh, yeah. All right, that's for you then. Blindfold down. Oh, this is it. Number one. Oh, how's it come down to the wire again? Who are? It's Ambrosia. It's not going to be because we've just had rice pudding, but imagine if I just got Ambrosia custard. That'd be nice. Yeah. Did you know they now do strawberry um, custard? Do they? Uh, the Ambrosia, not just like a random brand. Not something I would particularly want to have. No, I suppose it's more for it's like... It's a nice option, isn't it? Yeah. I suppose it might actually be quite nice. Usually if you have custard, it's with something and you want it to yeah. be quite plain. Unless it's more for kids. Get them onto custard early. Don't like the amount of like mashing yeah. up you're having today. Open up, head forward. <laughs> Mm. Kidney beans? Wrong. Mm. Does that have bean in the... Correct. You've got two more guesses to guess which bean. The left bean or the right bean? Cannellini bean? Wrong. Hmm. Would you like another? I'll just have one more if you don't mind this time. I could, t I could see you with your tongue trying to work out. Just one? Yeah. Or another? Just one's fine. <sighs> when does the timer come into this? <laughs> My fate is in your hand. Broad bean? Wrong. I don't know any other bean. It's a butter bean. Oh, a butter bean. Which is very much like a kidney bean. Mm. So you're very close. Because if you look at it, it almost is like a kidney bean. It's a butter yeah. bean. Well, that's a disappointing <sighs> end to that. Not for me, though. No, not for you. Well done. <laughs> oh, well done, Al. Well done. I can't believe. I'm only 
one point behind Only you. one point behind. It yeah. really did get to really the neck close, and neck. Yeah. Well, well done. You've managed to stay one point ahead <gasps> just after I equaled you. I know. I think it's about time I won one. Yeah, well. Oh, dearie me. I needed that because I was really losing confidence yeah. in myself. Well, don't lose confidence. But though. not bad. You got two wrong. I got one wrong. Oh, okay. that's a really good challenge. That that's fun, a lot yeah. of fun. I mm. always say, but definitely do this one with friends and families. And then the follow-up challenge is you have to make a meal with your friends Ooh, out of Oh, yes, these that'd tens. be good. So there's no waste. And you that'd have to be use really it all good. Up, yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, there are only two more episodes in this season, and Christmas is coming. Yeah. Yeah, so let us know down below who you think is gonna win this season. Can I make up the two points that I need? Or can I soar ahead with Father Christmas in his sleigh? <laughs> Whatever you're into. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.